Yep, so there it is. So on today's horribly edited video, we are gonna be talking about body language. So disregarding the dirty kitchen, because I am up in the main part of the house, but he is, <laughs> this is Shy. He is about two and a half years old and he is currently clambering through my hair. Buddy, here's your face. So he is <laughs> very chilled, very relaxed, just exploring. Um, one of my key things that I look for is muscle tone and feel for when I'm holding them. So right now he's he's got enough muscle tone obviously to hang on to me, but otherwise it's just chillaxing and exploring and doing his thing. All right, so behavior, the defensive behavior. This is Cogs. He just shed, and I'm trying to get his shed out, and he's rather frustrated with me. So he is in a defensive pose right now. Kind of buddy. I'm assuming he will strike at some point. Are you going to strike, bud? Yeah. You look very handsome. I know, handsome. So he gets really frustrated <laughs> if I'm trying to maneuver something out of his house that he doesn't want me to have. Or if it involves needing to go, hi sir, um, needing to go in, hi buddy, are you gonna bite? Are you gonna bite the, the hook? It's okay. Yep, so there it is. So when he does that, I try not to respond, even if it's me he's biting. It's okay, bud. I try not to like flinch or anything like that and let him just get it out of his system. Can I get your shed? So that's a defensive posture of a scrub. Hi, bud. All right, this is Aries. He's been in shed for the last 17 years. Hi, sir. How are you doing? He just woke up, so I'm hoping he'll shed. Hi, buddy. Handsome. So he's a horrible example of defensive or food mode. Hi, bud. He's very chillax and calm, but something he does do sometimes. Hi, handsome. You see my hands here? Good boy. When he's in shed, let me see if he'll do it. Of course you're not going to do it because I'm filming. I was trying to get him to see if he'll buck. Sometimes they buck when they're in shed, but no. Okay. All right, and then there's April. April. She is. Where is she? Yeah. <laughs> so April is one, hungry, and two, one of our quirky girls. So she can be a little difficult for me to read in terms of body language. She knows where the opening usually is. I almost always open from this side. Hi, sweetheart. Come on. So she, <laughs> she's right now, she's, I would say, food curious because like I said she has shed she is scheduled to eat today so and they're smart little buggers they know when they're supposed to to be fed so I usually <laughs> will wait and give her some space and time to sort out how she's responding to the current situation does she think there's food or is she just in curious mode so I set the tree here and let her kind of think it through um, as much as I take mitigated risks with these animals, they are mitigated. I pick and choose when I want to kind of push the boundaries with them. I am by no means going to stick my hand in there right now because she's still figuring out whether food is involved or not. And she packs a punch when she bites. I know because she is, she has bitten me before. Sweetheart, it's not malicious. She's not mad. She's just a snake and responding to their body language is important. So if you're unsure what that body language is, giving yourself and the animal the space and time to process it through and better understand where they are at is incredibly helpful. So I stood up and startled Centauri for a hot second, but this is her in food mode. I'm playing. You need some out? The glass is certainly currently closed, but. Hi, do you think there's food? So if I, yep, this is her in food mode. Don't strike the glass. She's also still in shed. Hi, honey. Think through it. 
think about it. There we go. Good girl. So, so I like keeping them. I mean, this enclosure is too small for her. She has a new one on its way, I promise. But she, uh, it gives them space to kind of think about it instead of automatically just hitting the glass. It's kind of cool. Hey, sweetie pie. All right, so this is, a, it's a few days later because I procrastinated. But this is Chahaya. She's our shyest, more reclusive retic. She's also our smallest. She's also arguably our prettiest, although Stella's right there, so that's a, that's a Sophie's choice right there. But she is slowly becoming more and more interactive. But one of the things that tells me that she is a little more resistant, not resistant, reluctant, and like hesitant to interact is <laughs> shorter, fewer tongue flicks. And she kind of hangs on a little tighter to things, whether I'm holding her or whether she's on the street, she's actually being pretty relaxed right now. So what I look for her when I'm working with her is for her to show, yeah, show interest. Similar to Cogs, good girl. And then she'll sniff and kind of be like, oh, nope, that's not what I wanted and move away. That's an example of a shy or hesitant behavior. <laughs> and then there's this dude. So this is Aries. Uh, he is in breeding mode since the weather has changed. He's he's a very docile animal, even in in uh, looking for the ladies mode. But if you look, well, this is a fun behavior. So look at his tongue flicks. So those are little, but they're very frequent. And that's just him sniffing where another snake was. So Chahaya was up here yesterday. So he's just sniffing where Chahaya was. April hangs up here sometimes. So he's just, he's just sniffing, sniffing, sniffing. Oh, a little bit longer tongue flicks. Hi, honey pie. Yeah, good job. You want to be curious. Look at you. Hi, so those are longer, a little bit longer. There's a longer one, good job. So that's what I'm looking for. Let me see if I can get this goober to do friendly tongue flicks. Come here, bud. Can you, can you stop sniffing for just a second? Retics do have a bad rap of being like, when they're in breeding mode, a little bit more apt to bite or be aggressive or what have you. Um, I have not found that true. Hi, so those those really long tongue clicks, that's just him dropping into curiosity mode instead of sniff mode. What do you smell? Hi, buddy. I will insert a clip of him ex uh, expressing some additional breeding mode behavior here because I think it's hilarious um, and also really cute. So they, they do a little arch situation. Get him to do it. Yeah, I'll put a video of him arching. You can see that behavior as well. I'm trying to see if she will periscope. It's one of my absolute favorite behaviors. She's actually, surprisingly, one of our more periscopey girls. I say surprisingly because she is a little bit shyer and hesitant, but she does tend to periscope quite a bit especially when she's been out for a while and has had a chance to settle in and get into exploring mode. Chaya, there's cool. She's like, I will if you get the camera out of my face. <laughs> Begging behavior. Hi, sweetie. So she's not in food mode. She was actually just out, but you can see the long tongue clicks. Hi, honey pie. Come out and say hello. Hi. Come out. Come out. You just want your door open. So something that I do that is different than um, what is often shown is she's, I mean, I'm 99.9% .9 sure she's out of food mode. So I will actually go from the top 
which is an unusual direction, and just make contact with her. Hi, honey. No, you don't want to come out. You just want your door open. Okay. Chill sleeping mode. <laughs> so something to keep in mind if you have a snake out, supervised free roaming, if they curl up and go to sleep, make sure that you like let them know that you are there kind of gently. Generally, I will use my voice again. I leverage my voice a lot when I work with them just to, they can pick up on the vibrations of your voice. They don't understand the individual words you're saying, but it essentially gives them a heads up like, hey, something's there. And then I make contact and make sure that I'm not going to startle them awake. He just wants to nap. He's like, I don't know, I just wanna go to sleep. You cozy boy. So he's been wonderful in helping me with snake chores this morning while I've been filming. Well, wonderful is what I do. <laughs> your voice is so much louder than mine. <laughs> Which, Sorry, everyone. No, that's a good thing. Actually, I have a lot of people telling me that they have a hard time hearing me. So um, That will not be a problem with me. <laughs> it will not. So I've been working with you in terms of looking at behavior mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Um, how has that been going? Good. There's definitely like some nuances of distinguishing between a lot of the like the tongue flick behavior mm -hmm. that you were talking about and one of the things for me that was really a kind of a, a light bulb moment was that no tongue flicks at all is still readable tongue flick behavior mm -hmm. um, and i think that's really important that is a really good point the absence of behavior still expresses a behavior mm -hmm. jahaya loves him she generally prefers hanging out with Jody over me, which I think is adorable. Really? Mm -hmm. I know that was true. All right. It might be because be because your head is shaped, and she likes to sit atop your head. She does like to sit atop my head. Yeah. So that was kind of a soft introduction. Um, there's obviously a lot more body languages to pay attention to, and more to observing those body languages and responding to them. But I think that's where I'm gonna leave it for this week. So yeah, let me know your comments, questions, if you have like a specific behavior that you're not sure how to, like what it means. I am not an animal behavior expert. So this is based on my experience with my own animals. So yeah, but either which way, hopefully you find this helpful and helpful. <laughs> All right, that is it for this week. I hope you found that helpful. If you have additional questions, um, comments, anything like that, I am not a behavioral, like an animal behavioral expert. So all of this information is based on my own personal experience with our <laughs> personal photo animals. Chahaya is photobombing. They're really good photobombers. Better than him, actually, and that's he sets the bar pretty high. I've got some game. He does. Um, if you want to join us on Patreon, we have a wonderful community of people over there. So if you are one of our members already, thank you so much for your support. It we means, love our Patreon. Yeah, community. it's really awesome. Um, if you want to check that out, patreon.com slash the curly haired keeper. Likes and follows, comments on this channel are always so appreciated. It helps us out a lot. And yeah, we'll, uh, we'll catch you next time. Oh, oh. No periscope? Periscopes. <clears throat> Massive periscope. <laughs>